happy sabbath the seventh day of the week today is a special day because god specifically chose this day blessed it and sanctified it and i hope today i will bless you with another scripture of the day and our scripture is taken from second chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14 our title is condition to answered prayer second chronicles 7 14 reads if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land heavenly father and friend we invite your presence now speak to our hearts in the name of jesus christ i pray amen second chronicles chapter 7 tells the story of king solomon dedicating the temple he had just built to god after his deep and sincere prayer fire flashes from heaven and consumes the burnt offering and the sacrifices and the glory of god fills the entire temple in the most majestic way ever seen in the old testament Priests could not go into the temple because the glory of God filled the temple. Wow, isn't that amazing? Imagine praying and asking God your dearest desires and then you receive a physical confirmation that your prayer has been heard and you will get what you need. The good news is the same confirmation and assurance can still be experienced today. However, there's one condition. Our text started with if if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear uh, from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land firstly for us to have the assurance that god will hear us is that we must be called by his name if my people which are called by my name you should find and have your identity defined in God and Christ Jesus. Acknowledge that you are his child and then go about and reproduce his character in your life as a child of God. There is no way you can be leading a life contradictory to the word of God and expect God to answer your prayers. I have an excerpt here from uh, the book Steps to Christ, page 95, paragraph 3. It says, if we regard iniquity in our hearts, if we cling to any known sin, the Lord will not hear us. But the prayer of the penitent, contrite soul is always accepted. Now back to the text. It said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. There it is again. The condition is that we turn from our wicked ways. If we accept to have our identity in God and Jesus, humble ourselves, pray, seek his face and turn from our wicked ways, then we can be assured that God will hear us and not only with the fire of his Holy Spirit fresh from heaven into, into our hearts, but God's glory will fill us fully because then we are the temple of God. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in for uh, the scripture of the day. I hope uh, to see you tomorrow uh, with another verse of the day. Speaking about prayer, I just want to give a little testimony here. So before I recorded this uh, verse of the day, um, I had a technical difficulty. I couldn't find uh, my SD card. And so I prayed and asked God to help and to help me find it. And immediately after the prayer, I just found it. So really prayer works. And I know it sounds like a silly prayer, but all I'm trying to, to say is that you guys, you should pray and bring everything to the Lord in prayer. Thanks again. See you tomorrow for another verse. Pray. All you gotta do is pray. pray. A minute, just take. Your time, the clock is ticking, so pray.